In this video today, we're going to fix, hopefully, all your driver problems. Let's go. All right, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Uh, and I, a lot of people get mad at me for doing driver drills because I, I, I'm Mr. Short Game. Well, 60, 65% of your game is the short game. We still need to hit a driver like a few times. So I can, uh, we can help there too, okay? So we're gonna get after it today. Uh, also, there's links below for everything, products, stuff, things like that, uh, check that out. But let's do this right now. Okay, the first thing we need to work on is just something in our setup. A lot of people ask me, how far away should I stand from the ball? Got an easy, easy fix for that. Here you go. Just take it for driver. All the information's right here. Turn it around. Grab it just below the head. Boom. Put the head right against your body. Okay, that's how far your hands are supposed to be away. Flip it around. Boom. Lower your hands. So you're one head away from your 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 body. Okay? One club head away from yourself. Right there. That's the distance your hands need to be from your body. Right there, boom, flip it around, lower it, you're good to go. That's the first piece of this. You gotta, you gotta have the right setup, okay? Secondly, here we go. Uh, I see this all the time. Come, come over here, I'll show you. Okay, so many times I see this, your stance is way too wide. I see people way out here. That, that's just gonna kill you. Do you know how hard it is to get off your back foot when your stance is so wide? So, here's what I want. Just, you know, your ball position's off your left ear. That's good. Just there. Just narrower is better than too wide. You'll, you'll make less mistakes with the narrow stance than with a wide stance. So error on the chance of being, you know, on the side of being too narrow. But just shoulder width is fine. You're good right here. You can hit the ball a long way. If I want to really crush it, I might just, and that's it. But right there, good balance. Just kind of like I'm, I'm shooting a basketball or something. It's right here, good to go. Hands are the correct distance, and uh, my feet aren't too wide. So much easier to transfer that weight with uh, less distance to cover. Okay, now we've gotta start working on a few technical things on the swing, but uh, we're gonna just do it through uh, stuff you have, all right, like uh, do this. You're hitting this, you got your club head cover, pop this off, this is what you're gonna do. Just putting it back there. I'm about this far inside my ball, and uh, you know, just behind it, a foot or so. Right back here. That's just a good visual. It's gonna keep me from whipping that club too far to the inside and help me just visually see where I want my first part of my backswing to be. So good the hands, I'm good with the uh, stance, and I see this, I don't wanna be in here. I just, yeah, right there, great. So that's easy, those are pretty easy things. Now we're gonna get uh, a little more fancy, but it's really gonna be easy and it's gonna help you uh, get your swing in the correct positions. Here's what we're gonna do. So the next step, okay, I wanna get this shoulder, my front shoulder, over my back toe, okay? That's, that's my mindset, front shoulder, back toe. But I don't wanna transfer my weight over here, I just want, you're just rotating it around. Just rotate it around, okay? Rotate. Your weight is transferring, but you're just not swaying, okay? Don't do this. Don't consciously think about moving all your weight to your backside. Just turn and you're good. Turn and you're good. Your weight is over here. If you're going in motion, your weight is there, okay? Front shoulder, back shoulder. With that though, okay? You gotta be careful because this could happen. I see this all the time. 
Got you. And then you come right over the top, okay? You do this, and those hands are way down here. So as you get that front shoulder to that back toe, I want your hands to be by your back ear. So that's just all one piece. Front shoulder, back toe, hands at my right ear. So I'm not here, my hands are up here, okay? So boom. Boom. Front shoulder, back toe, hands at my ear. Boom. It's easy, it's one piece. And there's no rotation of my hands. I'm not rotating the face, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just, I'm just kind of lifting my hands up as I rotate my shoulders. If you do it together, it's just seamless and look, it's perfect. But if you kind of go here and then this, then it's multi-piece swing, that's no good. So you're just going shoulder, toe, hands. Shoulder, toe, hands, ear, right there. Now, a lot of people, they just, they want to keep that club low on the takeaway, but it gets you way in here. And this is, this is bad. This will hurt you big time. The low, the low on the backswing, it's kind of, I mean, it's because people kind of go like this that they say keep it low. But in reality, you're turning and lifting those hands right in here. You're good. Just, you don't have to think low too much. That could get you in trouble, especially with too much uh, hand rotation or any at all. That'll, that'll get you, it'll mess you up. Okay. So we got the correct distance from the ball. We got our, our stance is good. We're, um, working on, working on this takeaway piece. So we got a good visual going back and coming back through. We've got our shoulder moving here and our hands up. Now, that's where the magic happens. I want you to turn the screw. We've talked about this in some of my other videos this time. Same thing, you're turning, you're loosening the screw. So that means you're turning your wrist, your left wrist this way to loosen a screw. At the same time, your body's turning. So it's everything's turning the screw at the same time. Your hands and your body are turning, okay? You're here, your hands are by your ear. You're turning your body and you're turning the screw. It's all, let's say one motion. Hand and body are turning the screw, boom all at the same time. The rest is momentum. It's gonna carry you through to a great, uh, a great ball strike. Think, hands, stance, shoulder hands, turn the screw. Everything's turning that screw. And that's it, you're turning the screw, getting to your finish. That's all, I mean, you don't even have to think about sticking your finish because it will happen because you've done everything correctly along the way. You're the right distance from the ball. You're not too wide. You, that first piece of your takeaway is great. You've got a club head cover, something down there to help you. You're getting that big shoulder turn and your hands are coming up by your ears, far, just to your ear, that's it. And then everything's turning this screw and, turn, and, and that's your turning your body. It's all turning a screw. That's your thought process. And then you're here and you're gonna come through and you're just gonna pivot, turn to that ball. You have great acceleration. You're gonna be in good position. That club's gonna flatten out on the way. It's, all these things are gonna happen naturally by themselves because you're doing the right things along the way. Remember, we're not, we're not messing with your swing too much. You're using your swing. You're just incorporating some little swing thoughts. Obviously, there's a few of them, but you know, three of them are just set up. So that's easy. And then you just up here and turn that screw and rotate and use your swing to do it. Don't change your swing. Your swing will naturally fall into the correct positions because you're doing the right thing. It's just know this, you're working on the right things, you're getting better and you're gonna start feeling and hearing a different sound when you strike that ball because you're compressing that thing like never before. You're doing great. So comment below, let me know how this helps you because I, I want your feedback. I wanna hear the, the results that you're getting. This is something that will help your driver, it'll help your irons, it'll help all areas of your game, but particularly with your driver, this is really gonna help you get a better, more consistent ball flight, all right? 
I'm excited for you guys. Let me know how you're doing. Thanks for watching. Like the video, share it, comment below, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Love you. Peace out. Good luck.